Sci-Fi Invasion. I'm your host, Joey Hollywood, and I'm trying to get through all 50 movies in this 50 movie box set from Mill Creek in 50 weeks. And here we come to the last movie of Disc 11. And that movie is called Planet Outlaws from 1953. So interesting thing, interesting thing about this movie is this is not really a movie. This is kind of a supercut of an old serial, a Buck Rogers serial, which I know I have seen Buck Rogers serials in the past, but I don't think I've ever seen the first one. As I was watching this, I think that this is a very condensed version of the first serial, I think, because it does tell the origin story of Buck Rogers. However, it's very possible that this could be two serials spliced together. I don't really know. But I love Buck Rogers, but not the serialized version. I, I have a very sparse experience with the serialized version. I grew up with this one, the one from the 80s. And I have an intense, intense soft spot for the 80s Buck Rogers. It's not always great, but... I don't know, there's a there's a fun to the hokiness of it, and I really enjoy it. I've been wanting to upgrade to the Blu-ray for about a year now, but uh, yeah, I really, really like the, the what Buck Rogers eventually became. But it, so, so it was fun going back and seeing the original origin of Buck Ro Rogers, because for me, you know, I, I always think of the 80s one where he's in space and he gets frozen at his console. The origin of Buck Rogers in the classic version is far less realistic which that's not to say that the one from the 80s was realistic either but he just gets frozen in the in the mountains and I, I feel like the fact that he's in space in the 80s one it helps me digest something so fantastical yeah so so he gets frozen with his little buddy which i, I think that's supposed to be winky oh no winky's winky's rocky jones blinky blinky i think it's supposed to be his name they get frozen and the moment they get unfrozen they just immediately start helping the, the the human race against the an evil force. Like it's pretty fast. I'm willing. This whole movie it moves at a breakneck pace. It moves so quickly, and I think that's a, kind of a problem because it's very clearly just a serial condensed way too tightly. There was a movie we watched earlier in the year that was the same way. It was it was a serial that was condensed. That one worked because it it felt more evenly paced. Where this, I just feel like it's constantly moving to the point where I'm getting a little like kind of lost. And I feel that I would have actually enjoyed the serialized version more than what I saw on this disc. I don't know for sure. Maybe I might find you know a 13 chapter serial boring, but this one it felt like it was moving too quickly, and I wanted to enjoy it a little bit more. Not to say it was bad, it was fun. It's a fun movie. The special effects are fun. Uh, Buck Rogers, in general, is just a fun character, no matter if you're watching the serialized version or the 80s television version. It, it's a fun concept. It's a fun idea. I'm actually really surprised that in the age of all these remakes and reboots, they're not going after Captain Video, Rocky Jones, uh, Buck Rogers, or Flash Gordon. They seem like prime real estate for franchises but yet they keep on remaking freaking spider-man or or all this like who who wanted a remake of ben-hur when we have all this other stuff that could really benefit from the time period we live in with the special effects we have now buck rogers is prime for this time period and uh it, it got me thinking while i was watching it it's this this is a fun little movie i think the serial might be better and I, I enjoyed it. It was one of the more highlight. This actually, this disc, disc eleven, has been a pretty good disc so far. Like what we got: Phantom Planet, which was fun; uh, Planet Outlaws, which is fun. They came from Beyond Space, which was fun, and the Warning from Space. I just wasn't in the mood for, but I think in a, uh, another context, I might like more. So this was a pretty good disc all the way around, and we're almost at the end. We are one disc away from completing this set only four more movies can you believe that we, we're 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 on the home stretch right now this is exciting for me at least you know we got two we're, we're almost at a hundred movies in a hundred weeks 
So that's, uh, that's pretty exciting for me. But uh, I'll see you next week when we tackle disc 12. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, please be kind and rewind.